Good morning, welcome to the FTS Bet Slip Sunday, the 22nd. It's getting even closer. Yesterday I told you how to get your turkey, you got it brining. Chris Wilkinson doesn't even know what brining is. When I mean, have you survived in life when you don't know what brining is? Um, Brussels, yeah, a couple of people you spoke to me about the old cooking yesterday. Brussels. Very important, let's do Brussels today, you've got to get these right. Right, first things first, none of that cutting crosses in the bottom and boiling for 58 hours like my mum used to do, so they were like white anemic, putting them on the same time as the turkey. First thing you need, bowl of water with ice in it. Peel the loose leaves off the Brussels, get them in a steamer, not boiled water, get them in a steamer, steam them for five minutes, straight out the steam, into the iced water, stops some cooking instantly, keeps that vibrant green colour as opposed to the old olive green mush that you tend to see on plates. Right, then you want some nice smoked bacon pancetta or smoked bacon lardons, Tesco finest, Sainsbury's finest, something like that, chopped up in cubes about 10 minutes before dinner. You've got to get them out of the water, dried off with some kitchen towel. Right, now you're good to go. Big pan, can be a wok, can be a big flat frying pan. Get it on the stove, hot. Olive oil and butter mix, not just butter on its own. Put the oil in there to stop the butter burning. Get the lardons in there, high heat, get them cooking, getting some colour on them. Once they've got a bit of colour on them there, without going black, get the sprouts in there. Mix them around, get them in, need to keep them frying and moving constantly for about five or six minutes. You have now got the finest Brussels sprouts that you have ever eaten on your plate. Laced in a beautiful olive oil butter with the smoky bacon. They'll be just firm to eat. Nice and vibrant and green. Beautiful. There you go. There's your sprouts. See, you get it all. What else can we do? Yes, yeah, stuffing. Don't, don't buy stuffing. Anybody buying stuffing gets the old head, but get some stuffing. Make your own stuffing. Uh, get some sausage meat, get the old uh, herbs, make your own stuffing and gravy, make your own gravy, chicken wings, veg, get it in the pan, two, three hours in the oven, loads of chicken wings, loads of veg and then mash it all up, get it all, once it's all cooked and nice colour on it, get it all mashed up, get all the flavour out of it, put it through a sieve, scraping it all, all off, takes you a couple of hours but you get the best, the best, best gravy, you look, all that other stuff you buy, it's just garbage. So make sure you do that. So you want stuff like in your in your pan, bacon, carrots, celery, um, all that sort of stuff um, mixed in. It can be anything, bay leaves, rosemary, chicken wings, crack them, smack them about a bit before you put them in, in the old, in the old baking tray, in the oven, and then when they come out to say, mash it all together and then get a bit of water in there, bit of flour, put a little bit of pork in there, boil it up and then mash it all through a sieve so you get all the lumps and all the chicken wing stuff out of it and you'll just be left with a beautiful flavourful gravy. There you go, see that's what you can spend the next two days doing. I was going to do some competitions but instead I'm just going to tell you how to cook your Christmas dinner. Job done, I'm not doing that, I'm going to Scotland. I'm going to Scotland, having me jabs today, having me inoculations. Um, right, what have we got? Uh, NFL, I was up watching that at 4 o'clock this morning. The old 49ers march on. Little last couple of seconds field goal again. Um, but um, Patriots have been covered by seven, didn't they? Thinkers. Um, right, uh, had a bad day dog-wise. Just don't miss me dog, but um, I have to say this new stuff, guys, going very well when I report back on that in the new year. It is definitely going to change a lot of the way I'm trading at the minute. And... Um, as I say, it will be very, very good. I've had a, I've had an absolutely amazing week. I'm not going to lie. Um, I actually, I'm going to Tottenham Chelsea today. I almost don't want to go, but there's not a massive amount of football on, to be fair. Um, not, not don't want to go. Well, I don't want to go. See, sucks. I got, oh, we got old West Ham. Kev, come on, you Spurs transferred over. Um, no, I thought. Um, I don't want to miss the football trading, but uh, we're going to go and beat them six or seven a day. Going to give them an absolute pasting. Chelsea, you are going to get one hell of a beating. Um, right, what have I got for you today? NFL, we had that Saints game. That's it. There's nothing else on the NFL. There's no horses. How many people are going to email me at 11 o'clock? 
Where's the horses? I think the macros for December, 48 odd points up. The macros for the, I know they've had a bit of a slow week without some horrendous rain and going, but I think the macros for December, 48 points up. I think since October, plus 114 points or something on the macros. Um, I've told you it's the best racing out there. You've got to dig in and stick with it, whatever it is. But um, you know what it's like. You know what it's like. People are joining that little offer I did and they all leave again because they had one bad week. Makes no sense to me. But I've got, I've got mindset stuff in the new year. Um, Foospell. What, what have I got for you? Foospell wise, let me find my sheets. Okay, here we go, my good little people. Um, Watford Man U. First half goal, Watford Man U. So 15, 20 minutes in, it's nil nil. Watford Man U. Sorry, 20 minutes in, Watford Man U. 20, 25 minutes in, it's nil nil. Lay a under 0.5 or back over 0.5. Watford Man United. Um, Huesca Zaragoza in the Segunda Division at 3 o'clock. Same bet, first half goal, but if it's nil nil at half time, do the over one and a half. How do I do the one and a half? I back it at half time if it's nil nil, and then I'll still back it again at 65 if it's nil nil. Trade on a goal. Um, hopefully, most of you know what I mean by that now. And at 5 30 this evening, Levante Celta Vigo. First half goal, exactly the same. So all three of these are first half goal, but Levante and Huesca both go to one and a half if nil nil at half time. Watford Man United doesn't, that's just the first half goal. Levante and Huesca go into the one and a half if we don't get that first half goal. Um, right, what can I say? I can um, leave you to it. I'm not going to talk many people I've had. Just, I've just had one there then, Liverpool fans, talk about that world championship. No, you're not. You're not the world champion. France are the world champions. That's the only world proper world champions. They're not getting involved in Mickey Mouse flipping nonsense that all of a sudden nobody's giving a shit about and you want to because you've happened to go and beat some two bob outfits. Don't worry about it. Nobody's even... It's like a dance, isn't it? You played a, flam a pink bird or a dance. I can't remember. Nobody's interested. The only people interested are you and when you get your independence and have your own currency and all sod off. We won't have to worry about it. Uh, get it done before May. Get it done before May and get you out of that Premier League. Lovely, beautiful. Um, right, I'm, I'm thinking I'm better. Better getting there, getting there. As I, um, what is it? Uh, what is it? It's um, Sunday. I was going to tell you about the day I fell asleep and I was on the road, wasn't I? Shall I do that today? Or shall I save that? For, I might be pushed tomorrow. I've got to get the old train up to Jockland. Um... It was um, 2002, World Cup, England played Argentina. I um, don't know whether you remember it, but it was an early morning kickoff about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. I went with me, my brother and a guy I did work with and um, fell asleep. Uh, no, what did we do? Let's get it right. Right, so we went, I'm useless and I went to... Um, we arranged to go to the pub and watch it. We arranged to go to the pub in Westmoreland because it was sort of halfway between where my brother lived and um, where it sort of was at the middle of the triangle of where we all were. So uh, my mate had sourced a pub. He said they're showing it there. We can get in there early. So we got in there about half seven. They were doing an offer um, buy two Budweiser's and get one free bottles of Budweiser. And we decided to buy um, 20 straight off. So we got 30 bottles. Uh, about eight in the morning, hadn't had any breakfast and started drinking that, watching the football. Um, got through the lot, uh, then moved on to some gin and tonics and stuff like that by about half eleven in the morning and I was an absolute mess. Um, we walked down really nice high street by small and if anybody's been there lovely but got a few pubs so we, we went then on a bit of a pub crawl round and then my brother unbelievably had to go to work which is just amazing because he was hammered as well but yeah I mean he's a solicitor and he had to go into work uh, <laughs> but um, so mid-afternoon now sort of two three o'clock I have just thought I've had enough now and rather than going I'll ring a cab or up there I went out into Westmoreland High Street laid down um, and went to sleep and I was allegedly there for about an hour nobody touched me nobody moved me um, and then my mate came out and called his girlfriend and said um, it's time to um, get you up son we gotta go home and I've been lying in the street asleep for about an hour um, and my boy was only small then what would he be five six seven something like that 
when my mum was alive, she was looking after him. And it's the only day my mum never swore. She was absolutely perfect. You can't understand where I got it from, can you? She never swore at all. That is the only day she's ever sworn at me. Um, I walked in the front door. My mate dropped me off. I felt as ill as it. My mate dropped me off. I walked in the front door. My mum had just got back from picking the boy up from school. I didn't even say hello, I just, as you come in the front door, the stairs were on the right, I just headed straight for the stairs. I got halfway up the stairs and um, was violently sick. And it was all running down the stairs and I just ignored it and carried on walking. Went up and just got on my bed and my mum came in and went, uh, I can't remember the exact words, but it was something like, Ian, you are a fucking wanker. Or a disgrace, something like that. Um, and slammed the door and walked off. And I um, passed out. Yeah, disgraceful behaviour, you see. Yeah, that's why I should have given up the booze then. Um, I am giving it up. I'm not drinking now. That's me done. I'm not drinking. I had a good week this week on the booze. I think of my dog. Right, I'm just, once again, I'm waffling. Disgraceful, isn't it? I'm sorry about that. I just thought, I don't know why I shared that with you. That's not often. Not many people, so they've had a good sleep for an hour in the ice street. Um, Right, have a lovely, what is it, Sunday. Have a lovely Sunday, and I will be back with you on um, tomorrow before I get the train to the old Jockland. And trust me, guys, trust me, particularly those of you trading, ultimate, everything, 2020 is going to be a fantastic year. You just wait and see what we've got for you. It's going to be beautiful. Right, have a lovely one, and I will be back with you tomorrow.